Salutations everyone, this is Razor giving you some cargo domination with the FAL. I don't, I don't know if I brought you guys a cargo gameplay because this game does not, you know, open up a lot in the, in the lobby. And it's a, it's a really bad map, it's just, it's poorly constructed. Uh, you got the camping spots on red, you got camping spots on red window. Camping spots on blue crates and camping spots uh, way in the back of A flag. You all know which one I'm talking about. The one that's right over the, I think it's the B bomb site in the search and destroy that everyone loves to camp with uh, Bettys and shock charges. Yeah, this is a really poorly constructed map. Um, it plays really slow and uh, a lot of lot, lot of camping, a lot of LMG target finders, uh, snipers as well. Yeah, but I'm using FAL here. I haven't posted an FAL gameplay in a while also, but of course, there, uh, no select fire bullshit. This is just, you know, using the gun like an actual man would uh, with this trigger finger. Using the V-set, uh, the attack dogs, and the swarm. This isn't really a good map for any kill streaks, really, because it's a map that not many people want to stick around for if they uh, can avoid it, so they'll just, you know, rage quit. And there's a, a lot of places to hide as well, so air support isn't going to do as much damage. But I'm just going to try to see what I can do here with the FAL. Oh, uh, but I got some uh, bad news for you guys. Um, I know it sucks uh, that I hadn't been able to post up any videos last week. Um, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Monday, and Tuesday? I forget. And, no, I posted the video on Tuesday. But, um... I, there won't be any videos coming for me for this weekend because I'm going to be out of town. It's a uh, it's a family thing, but because as all you people know, family comes first. So no videos this weekend. Uh, so I know that's going to be two Sunday tutorials I missed in a row. So if I can on Monday, I will have my emblem tutorial for you guys, and uh, I hope it's I hope it's one that you guys will really really enjoy so yeah that sucks bad timing um i didn't really have time to prepare for this but as you know things come up and you can't really prepare for them also i don't have any experience with the youtube schedule loader um i would like to give it a try to see if it works at all in case i need to do something like this again but uh you know, unfortunately, I did, it didn't get any heads up here in this situation, but you, you guys know know how it is, know how it works. Uh, about to get on my VSAT right here. Teammates got a VSAT. And th this map uh, this is, isn't is really a, a good map for spawn trapping, which is you know, a good thing. I don't like uh, spawn trapping, but uh, the spawns flip rather uh, quickly in this map um, because... Uh, it's not not that it's very large. It's not a it's not a large map. I guess it's a medium-sized map, especially when you compare it to all the other maps in this game, which are relatively small. Um, but it's the spawn points are very far apart because of, like the stretch runways, like you would uh, see on firing range uh, by the bathrooms. You know that little runway spawn area. Uh, so at least it gives a little spawn security, but it's also more sporadic. Um, because of all the other spawns on in this game, you're more used to being crazy and shit like that. So I got my dogs. Uh, they're doing what they can, feasting on some enemy crotches like they do. I got my swarm in my back pocket, but I'm going to save that for the next round. Because why overlap dogs and swarm, especially uh, when there's only a minute left? Don't want to make them rage quit before the next round even starts. But then again, you really can't stop people from rage quitting. I talk about it so much, rage quitting and dashboarding, that I think I should make a thoughts on episode about it because there's a lot to be said um, with with it, within the uh, this uh, subject matter that I uh, I would like to get out there. That's uh, is I mean it's something that everyone likes to touch on a little bit, but I think maybe it deserves its own video. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should make a thoughts on video on dashboarding and, and rage quitting and stuff. I did make a video about rage quitting before, um, but I don't know. Maybe it deserves a second look from like a dashboarder's perspective. I, I, I know, I've never really dashboarded. But I, I've never dashboarded before. It, it seems really silly to me. I mean, it's just a video game, but let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me revisit that subject once again. Uh, do get killed there, which is, which is unfortunate. 
in itself. Um, I can't remember the last time I posted FAL gameplay. I do have a lot of them, but of course I don't want to, you know, suffocate you guys with the same kinds of weapons over and over, which is why I like to change it up. Um, you know, outside of the fact that I get bored using the same guns over and over again, even if it's a weapon that I like, like the FAL, um, I just I'll, I'll get bored. But it, you know, it's a very fun gun to use. You know, I like using the semi-automatics, the SMR as well. And I actually got a gameplay with the SWAT uh, since the patch. Uh, I'll be using it a little more often. Had to prestige because I don't know. I didn't have to prestige, obviously, but I did. So. <laughs> Uh, I had to use the MTAR and the, and, the, and the SWAT a lot before I could unlock some of the better guns. Uh, but I do have a SWAT gameplay, uh, so I'll be sure to... Maybe I'll give that for, as my Tuesday video. Uh, just to show you guys how it is since the next patch. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll think I'll, I'll be doing that. Uh, so I called in my swarm right here because it's not like more people are going to come into the game. I'm not sure how many have left at this point. We also have a V set up. So, uh, my, my swarm is going to get me a couple kills, as you can see. Um, but, uh, my teammate has some dogs to, uh, to fight for, for, my, for my kills right here. So that's alright. I at least, at least get a couple and not the entire team leaves. Uh, you, you gotta respect that. I mean, sure, if someone goes, you know, 9 and 37, they're not good at the game. But, hey, at least they didn't leave. At least they're not, uh, you know... It does. They don't take the game that seriously. Uh, get killed right there, and uh, boom, the host leaves, which you guys are very, very much used to in Black Ops 2, because they always give the host uh, to the enemy team, to the to the worst team out there. And there's only two guys left, which is all right. I guess my swarm will be over by now. And so there goes the last two. They dashboarded, of course. So uh, enemy's going to forfeit right here unless we can get people to connect in time, which sometimes happens, so sometimes it doesn't. You feel sorry for the people that do get thrown into lobbies after the entire enemy team dashboarded. I mean, I've been on those teams before. Um, you know, you get into a game, you're being dominated, there's three air, uh, enemy score streaks out, and there, there's nothing you can do. So I, I have no problem with those people leaving the game because it wasn't their fault. Um, they had nothing to do with uh, getting themselves in that situation. It's just they were unlucky that uh, the in the entire enemy, uh, their entire team beforehand, uh, were just a bunch of stupid little kids that care way too much about fucking numbers in a silly video game. But uh, get a final kill there off the flag, dominating 200 to 33 domination score. My score is uh, not too impressive, but all right, 41 and 8 here on the cargo. Not a map you see too often, um, but uh, when it does happen, uh, people rage quit. Go figure. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your comments below, and I will see you guys next time.